Hi guys, it's Ian Coleman and it is the 8th of March 2021. Um, some interesting moves in the markets this morning. I want to concentrate on oil and uh, dollar CAD, the US uh, dollar against the Canadian dollar. Now, news wise, um, we saw a knee jerk reaction in oil uh, at the open this morning. This was after a drone attack on a Saudi oil field. However, if we look into this story, in greater depth drone attacks uh, normally have limited impact so what's happened is we've seen uh, that spike higher in oil but it is being rejected uh, and it's starting to move to the downside we've got some interesting technical levels on oil and Canadian dollar has a tendency to track oil and we've got some interesting chart formations in dollar CAD also so let's get to the charts uh, the first chart that we want to concentrate on is US oil. Now, this is US light crude on most trading platforms. This is a daily chart. Here, I can clearly see a five wave count to the upside. One, two, three, four, five. So as far as Elliott wave is concerned, uh, we've got a potential top uh, in place. Now, we did store close to the 361.8% extension level. That's at 67.71. It's an uncommon FIB level, but for commodities and commodity-based currencies, we can often extend past 261.8% uh, and towards 361.8% and sometimes to 423.6%. So um, I think the most important factor here is this FIB level, but also uh, the fact that we're getting a decent rejection remember this is the daily chart um, if we close around current, current levels uh, we're going to end up with a doji style candle if we close a little bit lower this could be seen as an inverted hammer um, tomorrow is going to be an important candle as well uh, for this chart if we get a close around about 64 uh, for us like crude then that's going to uh, highlight an evening doji star pattern on this daily chart and that is often seen at the top of a trend and the start of a new downward bias now as we said if oil moves lower canadian dollar has a tendency to move lower and dollar cad has a tendency to move higher so let's have a look at uh, the us dollar against the uh, canadian dollar one time frame in fact we'll look at two time frames here this is the daily chart we've got quite an important um, fib level here as well we've got a 261.8 percent extension level at 125.04 okay the first wave uh, being this wave down here uh, finishing on the 14th of April um, so confluence zone a 127.2 percent extension at 125.16 a 261.8% extension at 125.04. Now let's zoom in on that chart. This is a very bullish candle. It's known as a bullish outside day. It's stronger than an engulfing candle in the fact that it takes out the whole of the previous range. Um, again, often seen at the base of a trend and the start of a new upward bias. If we look to uh, today's candle, we can see that the uh, lower open, which was caused uh, by that spike higher in oil has now been bought into and we're starting to move higher in dollar CAD. Let's have a look at this chart. This is an eight hour chart. Are we making a reverse bullish head and shoulders pattern? So this would be the left shoulder, this would be the head, this would be the right shoulder, and this will be the neckline. So a break of the neckline, which is around about 127.40, and the measured move target. Uh, for this pattern is up here at 130.15. I'm going to leave you with those charts. Good luck today. I'll be back again tomorrow uh, with some trading insights. Many thanks.